What's up everyone, it's Cody here with the video I wish I didn't have to make, but some of these coding boot camps are getting out of control. To be clear, I have no problems with coding boot camps. They are a great way to learn how to become a software engineer without having to go back to college. However, because of the nature of these boot camps, you have to be especially careful that you aren't being taken advantage of or deceived through clever marketing tactics. Today, I want to walk you through an example of a boot camp that is using clever marketing tactics to make their competition look bad. Full Stack Mastery is an example of a coding bootcamp that uses deceptive marketing practices. Their marketing page claims this is better than a CS degree, which I assume is a bachelor's degree in computer science. If you look at the overview of their six month program, they claim you'll learn fundamentals, front end programming, back end programming, soft skills, as well as completing a capstone project. The fundamentals will cover basic programming concepts, computer science 101, as well as algorithms. It seems data structures are not included based on what they have listed in their curriculum. For the front end, you'll learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React.js. On the back end side, you'll learn Redux, which probably falls more into the front end, but I digress. You'll also learn MongoDB, Express, Node.js, which sits underneath Express, along with MySQL and Postgres. For the soft skills, they're claiming you'll learn how to learn how to code, have a growth mindset for coding, soft skills in communication, and writing, interview prep, writing cover letters, negotiating your next salary, and business skills. The capstone project will have you creating an app from scratch while working on a team. This curriculum seems perfectly fine and reasonable. If you want to know what I look for specifically in a bootcamp, be sure to stick around because I'll be talking about that a little later. First though, I need to talk about the problematic parts with the marketing for this bootcamp. They have a table that compares what you get with Full Stack Mastery Bootcamp versus a traditional CS degree versus other bootcamps. To start out, the price claims that a CS degree will cost between $60,000 and $150,000, or at least that's my interpretation. I suppose someone could argue that it says a CS degree costs between $60 and $150,000, thousand dollars which honestly that's a closer price range but we'll get to that in a second they then give their price for their boot camp which is a flat twenty thousand dollars versus other boot camps that cost between twenty and thirty thousand dollars to start the price range for other boot camps is inaccurate coding nomads which has an average rating of 4.95 stars on course report will set you back two thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars for their three month intensive full stack program to be clear i am in no way endorsing coding nomads i am simply using them for illustrative purposes to show that coding boot camps do not start at twenty thousand dollars i'll leave a link to course report in the description if you want to check out the boot camps they have listed. For the computer science degree, you can obtain one for far less than $60,000. You can also spend more than $60,000 on a computer science degree. That was the route that I decided to take, and while it was totally worth it, sometimes I do wish I tried harder to find some scholarships through FastWeb or working full-time through college instead of part-time so I could have covered more of my living expenses without taking out loans. For example, if I were to attend Northern Illinois University starting spring 2022, and I planned on taking 15 credit hours per semester, I would plan on spending $15,696 for tuition along with books and fees, and that would include access to a fitness center and Health insurance. Over the course of four years, that is in fact over $60,000. However, this is before applying for scholarships which could cover some if not all the tuition. Many of the people I know were able to get their computer science degree by spending less than $60,000 simply because they applied for scholarships. Full Stack Mastery says a computer science degree will take at least four years, other boot camps only take three months, and their boot camp takes eight months. There isn't much wrong with this, although I could argue that a computer science degree can be completed within four years if you go above full time. The last thing I want to point out, because I'm very detail oriented, is that they claim it takes eight months to complete their program on this table, but elsewhere they claim this is a six month program. Kind of weird, but I guess we all make mistakes. The next row is similar to the last one. It talks about which ones cover CS fundamentals. Obviously the computer science degree covers that as do most boot camps and of course, Full Stack Mastery covers this as well. It's worth mentioning that this table is a marketing tactic that other companies use. Essentially, you want to show that a competitor offers less value than you do. However, other companies will boast about the extra features they offer while omitting features that the competitor may have to offer. That is not the case with Full Stack Mastery as you will see with the next row. For practical skills, they claim computer science degrees do not teach these, while their bootcamp does. A computer science degree teaches you not only computer science, but it also covers non-computer science topics through general education courses. For myself, I took history, biology, public speaking, music theory, linguistics, and almost got a minor in psychology. I'd argue that if you plan your gen eds properly, you would learn far more practical skills than you would from any three, six, or eight month bootcamp. They unfortunately do not talk about what they consider to be practical skills, so my assumption is that this falls into the soft 
soft skills portion of their curriculum. Assuming soft skills are the same as practical skills, I can safely tell you that you will learn all of those by completing a four-year computer science degree. The first one they mention is how to learn how to code. Since you focus quite a bit on theory with computer science, it makes it fairly easy to pick up other programming languages in the future. The growth mindset for coding is another one that can come naturally, providing you pick up a diverse set of gen ed courses. Soft skills and communication and writing is almost certainly covered as a gen ed course, as I'm fairly certain most universities require some form of a writing class, as well as one for public speaking. Interview prep is usually a free service at most universities. You just have to keep an eye out around campus for flyers. They will also usually send out emails about interview prep during the semester. Writing cover letters is also something that someone in career services at your university can help you out with. The same is true with negotiating your salary. They also list business skills for soft skills. You can get a minor or double major in business for most universities or simply take Business 101 if you want a good overview. Moving on to the next row, we have Modern Languages, which is checked off for both bootcamp options, but it is not checked off for computer science degrees. This is one that will vary from one university to the next. Oftentimes, you'll learn either Python, Java, or C++ as your first programming language. You'll also have the opportunity to learn others depending on which courses you take. UIC at Chicago teaches Scala and CS474, which focuses on object oriented languages and environments. I'd also argue that Python and Java are the best languages to learn if you care about getting a job as they are consistently the number one in two languages for software engineering roles. If for some reason you get through a four-year computer science degree without learning a modern language, I can assure you that you will have no trouble picking up another one, such as JavaScript or Golang. Once you learn one or two languages, learning and becoming proficient in a third, fourth, or fifth isn't that difficult. The next row is data structures and algorithms, which is checked off for both computer science degree and the full stack mastery bootcamp. However, it's not checked off for the other bootcamps. For starters, the curriculum for their bootcamp only listed algorithms. So I guess I was wrong earlier in this video when I said this bootcamp didn't cover data structures. I guess this is just another discrepancy with their marketing material. It's also worth mentioning that there are other boot camps out there that teach data structures and algorithms. Going back to Course Report, I can see that they have 169 courses with data structures listed. Coding Temple, which costs $13,995 for their 10-week course, has data structures listed as being covered between the second and fourth week of their program. Again, I'm not endorsing Coding Temple, but they do offer a great segue into the next claim made by Full Stack Mastery. They have a row for mock interviews where they claim they're the only ones that offer these. If you're paying $20,000 for a course, you definitely want to get your money's worth, so it's nice that this is something offered exclusively by them. Except this isn't exclusive. Coding Temple has an entire career support section where they will help you with your resume, connect you with employers, and host mock interviews. Not only that, but if you go to a four-year university and get a degree in computer science, the career services department will bring in companies to do mock interviews with students. This is not exclusive to Full Stack Mastery, and it's incredibly disappointing that they would list this as a unique feature when it absolutely is not. Next up, they include a capstone project, which you can expect from a computer science degree along with their bootcamp. The capstone project is generally one of the last things you will do prior to graduating, and every university has their own way of doing them. Generally speaking, this is usually a group project. Where things go south is when they list other bootcamps as not having capstone projects. It is true that some do not have one, but as I've shown throughout this video, some do. In fact, Coding Temple has a capstone project listed as part of their curriculum. Again, I'm not endorsing Coding Temple, but they are a great illustration for this video. The last thing they have listed is connecting to recruiters. This one made me lose my mind because they left computer science degree blank while their bootcamp and other bootcamps was checked. This is a bold-faced lie. While some bootcamps will connect you with recruiters and hiring managers, I've spoken with other graduates that were left to fend for themselves. Computer science degrees do the best job at connecting you with recruiters. Granted, I've never seen what Full Stack Mastery does, but I can tell you what it is like with the university. Every semester, you can expect your university will have a career fair along with an internship fair. During this time, their career services department will be there to help you understand how to speak with recruiters and what to expect during the interviews. At the career and internship fairs, you get to speak directly with recruiters along with employers at those companies. As long as you aren't a complete a 
You can expect to interview with every company you talk to at the career fair. This literally makes my blood boil and it's the entire reason I decided to make this video. I have nothing against coding boot camps, they're incredibly valuable. However, the easiest way to get a job as a software engineer is by getting a computer science degree. You can get one as a boot camp grad, but oftentimes it won't be until after you have graduated. While I was attending NIU, I had already signed a job offer six months before I graduated. I didn't even have to go to the career fair during the spring semester because there was no point in doing so. In fact, the fall semester career fair is generally the biggest one of the year. This is because companies are there to interview students before they graduate so they can start working immediately after graduating. I know this because I used to work for an HR tech company that led the campus recruiting space and October was always our busiest time of the year. Before I get into what I look for in a bootcamp, please be sure to scroll down to the comment section and let me know your thoughts on coding bootcamps versus computer science degrees. Now that I've talked about how some bootcamps use deceptive marketing practices, it's time for me to talk about what you should look for with a bootcamp. The first thing you need to ask yourself is why you're looking for a bootcamp camp in the first place? Is it to learn how to program or is it to get a job as a software engineer? If you simply want to learn how to program, then almost any bootcamp will be sufficient, although you could also save some money and learn to code for free by watching YouTube videos. If you are looking to land a job as a software engineer, then the first thing you should look for is career placement statistics. You should ask what percentage of graduates get a job as software engineers within six months of graduating. On top of that, you should also ask the bootcamp what they offer for career services. Will they help you with your resume? Will they introduce you to local companies? Do they have any existing relationship with companies? All of those would be questions I would be asking and if they answered no to any of them, it would be a major red flag. From there, you want to make sure that the curriculum is right for you. For the most part, Python and Java are the two most popular languages. However, knowing JavaScript, Swift, or Kotlin aren't bad either. Realistically, as long as you are learning something other than COBOL, Fortran, or MATLAB, you should be fine. Also, I have nothing against those languages. You would just have a harder time getting into the industry if those were the only languages you knew as a bootcamp graduate. It can also be helpful to know about databases. I would recommend being familiar with a relational and non-relational database, such as MySQL and MongoDB. However, you would also be fine if you learned SQLite and Google Cloud Data Store or some other combination. During the job interview, you will be expected to complete coding challenges and solve problems on a whiteboard, whether it be in person or remote. So with that in mind, you'll want to have an understanding of data structures and algorithms. If you are doing a three-month bootcamp that only covers those topics for a week or two, then you should expect to augment your learning by solving problems on leak code. The last thing you'll want to look for are the practical skills you are learning. Most boot camps will teach you about technologies that are in demand today. At the time this video was made, that means you'll want to learn JavaScript and React.js if you're getting into front-end development. If you're doing back-end development, then Java and Spring or Python and Flask would be great options. For mobile, you would want to learn Swift for iOS or Kotlin for Android. I can't emphasize this enough though. The entire reason you are spending money on a bootcamp is to find a job. If the bootcamp cannot give you statistics for career placement or provide proof they are successful in helping students get jobs as software engineers, then you should stay away from them. General Assembly actually has a tuition option where you pay $0 upfront and only start paying back the tuition when you land a job. Like other boot camps, I'm in no way endorsing General Assembly. I have no idea what the terms and conditions look like for that loan payback. I simply want to use them to illustrate some of the other options that are out there. And if nothing else, it goes a long way to show that General Assembly is willing to accept no money in return if they don't get you a job. This was a slightly different video for me. I normally don't get this upset or heated, but an important thing I should mention is I was almost taken advantage of by a for-profit college as a high school senior. I was going to get a degree in cybersecurity and was at the point where I was going to take out a loan when I found a bunch of bad reviews for the college. That's where I learned about for-profit college and how many of those colleges use misleading marketing tactics to scam their students. Coding boot camps aren't exactly the same as for-profit colleges, but they do share some similarities, one of which is promising a better life after going through their program. I am incredibly disappointed with the marketing material from Full Stack Mastery. I take no issue with their curriculum, it could very well be a great program, and I'm making no claims that people should stay away from the course. But to dissuade someone from getting a degree in computer science or another bootcamp by providing inaccurate information is shameful. Anyway, if you're looking into coding bootcamps, planning to get a degree in computer science, or going the self-taught route, 
I want to encourage you to check out our Discord community. I respond to every person that tags me there, and I'm always happy to help with career guidance. An invite link to the community can be found in the description just below the like button. That's it. That's the video. And hopefully I don't have to make another one like this ever again.